Lately, there have been a series of insecurity issues in different parts of the country, most especially in the northern parts. Just recently, it was reported that over 200 people were killed and buried by bandits in Zamfara State. The killing of these innocent Nigerians caused several Nigerians to react differently, including a well-known human rights activist, DG Adeyanju. While reacting, he lamented, stating it clearly that over 200 people were killed and buried by bandits and terrorists in Zamfara State. Yet, nobody in the north is complaining about the killing. Can you imagine? Indeed, this is so sad and unfortunate. For how long must these innocent Nigerians be killed? With the way things are going presently in Nigeria, it is clear that those in government have failed, do, uh, those who voted for them, by failing to protect them. If nothing is done now to stop these terrorists from killing innocent Nigerians, any of us might eventually become a victim. Something must be done now before it becomes too late. But mention Namdi Kanos, mention the ESN, oh my goodness, you begin to see them coming out, making all manner of statements. We have a more than other, let me say, let me just even cut, uh, try to minimize it. More than 20 or close to 50 different groups in the north. When it comes to things that happens in the south, oh my God, election or whatever, position, whatever, they will begin to come out. Or you talk about SB. They will begin to come out. Different groups, they will be issuing statements. And this kind of a thing happened. They kept quiet. They are not bothered. What does that tell you? And that is why this thing has been lingering for a very long time. Some of them I want to speak. But majority of them are on, are on the side of silence. And the rest of them just want to keep quiet. So it won't be as if I'm the one who is coming out to speak. But if it is something that is within them that they don't, they don't like it, they hate it with passion. Believe you me, un un unknown to them. By default, people just be speaking about it. But it's like that is what is just embedded there. They have a different mindset when such things happen. <laughs> Can you just imagine? Hmm. Imagine what would have happened if Jonathan is the president and all these things are happening. <laughs> and wow, well, the Northern uh, will be threatening, threatening war. I think they are comfortable with what is happening there. Life in that part of the country has less value than anywhere else. They said when your friend bears is on fire, look for water, rub yours because the fire might also reach you. God bless you for this a sensible response. I don't think some people know what is called boomerang. Northern youth shout, say Buhari, say Buhari, Buhari, <laughs> and follow your instruction. The president is a Muslim. The bandits are Muslims. People are dying are Muslims. So that's why they don't even complain because they all pray together inside mosque. It is called holy war. It is not only Muslims being killed. Or Christians are also being killed in the north and in these villages. And they are also being killed. Holy war to eliminate your brothers, Abi. But why are they not talking? That's the question people are asking. Why are they not? Why are they not? You know, um, last month, some people came out, they tried to come out, but how many of them? Just few of them came out. And that did not even stop the whole thing. That did not just stop anything. It's like you are putting petrol inside fire. It's, it's escalated again, escalating on a daily basis. It's escalated and it's see, escalating. No need to complain because the federal government has given the state government money to secure their state, but the state government will pocket the money and let killing continue if no killing no security votes so it is an arrangement when have a human life become worthless in nigeria like this the leaders will only talk when it affects them or their relatives that is when they talk that is when they speak are the northerners happy over what is happening i expected most of the reactions from um from what has been happening from them did they have had to think? Have you forgotten that uh, it's Northerners, especially Muslims, that make Nigeria what it is, as useless as anything? Northern people are just not serious. We need prayers from our saint brothers across the country, uh, country divide. This will enable some of your of your brothers that are really disturbed to use your hard-earned data for better things. Prayer is the key to save god's people from the hands of wicked people you see what happened in enugu state 
when uh, uniforms, uh, our city uniform, the first that came in police and army uniform, they came in police and army uniform, and up till now, as at when this story was reported, the community people, the residents called on the security people. They said they are coming. They were coming. They were coming, but just see that say, oh, they talked about the ESN. Before you could say Jack Robinson, even when nothing happened, they will tell you that ah, we have tackled with this. In I've never heard that they they tackled all these uh, men and this uh, Fulani yes, men that the Nigerian police or army that they tackled them or they arrested them. No, it has never happened. Zamfara says have become number one terrorist area in the north with over hundreds hideouts that cannot be explained to the soldiers. Only the federal government can bring an end to these terrorists. God have mercy. These people want to take over Nigeria and we are just watching them. My question to the northern Muslims, why protecting foreigners killing you because of a religion? Is Dubai not an Islamic country? Will they ever tolerate the nonsense going on in this country? Why are you people destroying Nigeria? It is very, very unfortunate and very, very sad. It is absolute I want everywhere. Okay, uh, it is a pity I want everywhere to pray for the nation. You want there and uh, can't say the dead bodies or what? What? You can imagine somebody is asking that say where whether somebody went there to count them and a, a response to that states that one of the perpetrators is asking no that muslims shame on you <clears throat> people are dying every day the ones that you know the numbers do you even complain did you even condemn it no you won't condemn it asking somebody whether the person went there to go and count the bodies now terrorists are busy killing all the christian communities in the northeast and northwest building up only muslim northerners votes we only count highest in the north in future our leaders are silent because most of their children are businesses abroad my brother northerners and their leaders are useless wicked and satanic all they are taking or talking about is southeast who are fighting for their freedom not to be like the northern region where destruction manipulation conquering terrorists deceive Vin beheading, pretending killing had become a culture and tradition. Hmm. It is already late, Mr. Dedeji, with 200 kids in a single day. The number was not even recorded during the civil war. And yet, she would, Gabra, Femi Adesino, and Mohammed, and Lai Mohammed would be defending the worst governments in Nigeria. History, in the Nigerian history, Jonathan is a great leader when compared to this dangerously clueless presidents we are more than all those kind of leaders they are even mentioned when people some people mentioned uh jonathan i always think that say uh, do we really have class do we have a do we have a class in this country do we really have taste do we even know what we want nigerians are better than all the people that we've had as as, as leaders or presidents as you may think of we are we have knowledgeable people we ought to have been more than all the kind of presidents we've had in the past mentioning jonathan is that just like you don't even know your worth in the first place the degree at which these guys operated in an evil way does differs, but that does not take the fact that they are part of the problems we are having. Well, it's unfortunate. So, guys, um, let's hear your opinion concerning the uh, concern of Deji Adenyoju here. I always say it's the southerners are the ones who cry more than the bereaved.